Well, this is a small machine. It's very rigid, it's very accurate. It's extremely fast. So it's perfect for small to medium sized parts, predominantly in soft metals, but they're also configured for hard metals as well. So again, it's all about looking at specific components and getting the best cost per component. So I'm here at Nikon's Innovation Centre in Rotherham. I'm with Lee Scott from Starag. Um, Lee, we have got the compact Hecate machine behind us here, which is actually currently machining um, one of these parts. The AMRC guys are here wandering around at the moment, actually doing whatever they're doing. Well, what are they doing? Can you explain? Well, they're, they're working with um, the right cutting tool supplies. They're working with the right tool holder supplies, the right machine tool supplies. So collaboratively, we look at the component, they come up with solutions that you wouldn't normally be able to achieve. They're pushing the boundaries on how is the best way to machine these parts. Um, I was interested talking to the guys about what they're trying to do with this application. It's about sensing um, vibration in the machining process. It's, a, it, it's about the, the, the wall thickness versus the height. It's about what cut into it. it. It's all very strategic, isn't it? It's very strategic. It's the kind of work that most of our customers don't have time to do themselves. So these guys can do this offline, they can push the boundaries, they can use all the technologies inside the machine, sensor technologies, they can also use some external measuring capabilities as well and really understand what's happening in the cutting process. And for those that don't know, with our audience being broad and wide, the AMRC is, is, is on the same campus here, isn't it? It's a tremendous place when you get inside the doors, isn't it? It is, and, and this machine's installed at Nikens facility, which is next door. We've got a further seven machines down at the AMRC's and uh, nuclear AMRC's facilities, and also a machine down at Coventry within the Catapult organisation as well. So it's a great opportunity for UK companies to come and work to develop the best processes for any size and shape component. Uh, that would tell me they like your machines. Why is this machine? good for this application do you think this is the compact well you tell us well this is a small machine it's very rigid it's very accurate it's extremely fast so it's perfect for small to medium sized parts predominantly in soft metals but they're also configured for hard metals as well so again it's all about looking at specific components and getting the best cost per component developed through through these guys important to stress this is a horizontal machining center five axis twin pallet um, we've been talking a lot about its affordability and how people companies should look at this style of machine within their manufacturing appreciated and granted you've got the AMRC involved here at Nikon's innovation center but this is the type of thing that the Starag group do day in day out with your customers isn't it taking applications looking at reworking remodeling reducing costs it is. No, nobody buys a machine out of a brochure from us. So, as, as we've as we've explained to you about the machine in the past, we, we, we start with the spindle and we work backwards. So we define a machine around a process or, or, or type of material group or, or product group. It's all about optimising. It's all about best profitability and cost per part.